we have um, another person who doesn't need an introduction. We have um, a community activist and assemblyman Robert Rodriguez here, who we'd now like to welcome. Come on up. Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to say thank you for having me. This is really an honor and a, a pleasure and really a privilege. You know, having uh, read about Vito Marc Antonio and certainly heard from those who you know, were uh, alive when he served, he has been a tremendous leader and role model. And quite frankly, you know, as um, you know, being of Puerto Rican descent, born and raised in East Harlem, I would not have had the opportunity to serve the community that I love in this way if it were not for the leadership of Vito Marc Antonio. I mean, when you think about historically what he has meant to the community of East Harlem, you know, he is by far you know, one of the most beloved heroes of our community because of the way that he put the people of the community first. Not just Italian Americans, not just Puerto Rican Americans, not just African Americans. It was all the Americans that made up East Harlem. And at that time, that's revolutionary. That concept that he could be a civil rights leader for African Americans in the 30s and 40s, you know, an Italian American from East Harlem, that is impressive. The fact that he stood up for all people of all walks of life, not just made him tremendously popular in East Harlem, we loved him, but it gave him a platform nationally for people to remember what it is that we stand for as Americans, you know, being able to support the labor movement, being able to support freedom, being able to support self-determination. Now, as a Puerto Rican, and certainly in that time when the question of uh, independence was most prominent in the national discourse and continues to be a prominent issue today, he stood up and said, this dialogue needs to happen, regardless of what's happening on the levels of communism, regardless of the, of the specter that exists amongst the Cold War and, and the arms race. This discussion needs to happen amongst those Puerto Ricans on that island and figuring out what they would like to do and defending for Pedro Alviso Campo. So seeing his leadership there, you know, not only because it represented the ideals of many of the people you know, that he represented, but most importantly, because it represented the sense of values that he believed in. You know, they, those are the values that, you know, as an elected representative today, you know, our, our foundations and values are built upon some of those thinking. And what I think is most impressive is when you talk about Vito Marc Antonio, you know, initially uh, elected as a Republican, then uh, as a member of the American Labor Party. How many people know that what party that is? It doesn't exist, but he was the only one elected to Congress six times in that party. Unheard of. A, a leader, a hero, a role model, an inspiration. So it's really my pre pleasure, privilege, and honor to be here to present this proclamation to the members of, of the foundation, please, uh, commemorating you know his accomplishments and his life and, and his legacy on the 60th anniversary of, of, his, of his passing. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, um, Jerry's being interviewed. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's down at the bottom of the hill. So uh, let's just pause for a picture. Come on this side. Yeah. Yeah, I want to. Mark, we're in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Robert Rodriguez, Assemblyman. Thank you.